Today, I'm going to show you how to make your very own dog food. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today, I have got something fun and exciting. I have a new puppy dog. Now, Captain Happy Pants is staying over at my best friend Tony's house because he's starting to lose his sight and his hearing. And with all the construction going on around here, and me working, uh, he had really bad anxiety issues and he would just cry all day while I was at work. So, um, let me show you, here we go. Okay, so this is Cooper, he's not cold, he's scared. He's only been here a couple of hours. Uh, he doesn't shake when I walk away. Um, so I'm get, I had to go buy some dog food. It was a spur of the moment thing to bring him home today. Um, the owner uh, lives hmm, about a mile from here, and he lives in the neighborhood where I walk my four miles every morning. And so I saw him, and we started talking. And I told him about Captain Happy Pants and how he was getting old and he living with Grandma and all that kind of stuff. And he just said, "Out." I mean, he just basically asked me, "Do you want him?" And I said, "Yes," <laughs> because they have become empty nesters and they want to start traveling. And they really just don't want to have to deal with the dog when they travel. So uh, I'm going to be keeping him until Sunday. We're going to see how our relationship works and uh, see how the owner, you know, feels. You know, make sure he's okay with the, you know, letting go of the dog. Let's put it that way. So um, the dog's teeth are pretty bad. Most of them are missing. He's seven years old and Captain Happy Pants will be 13 on Cinco de Mayo. And so, just like when I first got him, I um, made his own dog food and got him in better health shape. And then we, other things just worked out. Let me get this level. I don't know what's going on. Ah, there we go. Sorry about that. Anyway, so what I do when I make my own dog food. My kitchen is a disaster, so please forgive that. What I do is, is I get a whole chicken and I pressure cook it. And then I pull all the meat off of it. Then I take carrots and my lima beans. I think they're still out in the, in the truck. And I boil 12 eggs and I grind up all the meat, all the um, carrots, lima beans, and I just shells and all after I boil them. And I make it into a dog food. So let's get started. I accidentally bought seasoned green beans, but I'm just going to put in just green beans, cut green beans, and some French style. It doesn't matter. Uh, so let's get this started. Uh, I want to use filtered water on this. Because I'm on well water, and some dogs can't handle well water. It makes them sick. Or just the... Um, not make them sick, but the change in their water can make them sick. So I just use filtered water. So there isn't an issue. Toby, when I travel with him, I have to keep him on bottled water because he gets upset stomach with the rubber, rubber gasket. When I clean my Instapot, I bleach out the rubber gasket and these little holes right here because, so they don't hold a smell. An odor, if you will after you use it. I can never just put this thing on. I don't know why I always have such a problem. That's vented, that's sealed, I hope. I don't use the pressure cooker very much. And I'm going to do poultry. high pressure okay so that's that now let me go get the blender and I will get this prepared okay let's get these eggs started when you leave the shells on the shells provide the calcium and I don't like the soft dog food that they are sent with it um, it's that cheap stuff let me go get it I mean back in the day we used to give our dogs Gaines burgers, Gaines burgers, but I don't know what kind of food this is, but it's got a lot of dye in it, and it probably has uh, wheat or grain. 
wheat or grain, so I'm just not gonna use it. I'll just feed it to the raccoons. He is so nervous. All right, so the trick to a good a boiled egg, as you know, you get the water hot first, boiling first. So what I did was, since he's got missing teeth, I bought him some dog treats that are, um, for, you know, they're called softies. And hopefully he likes them. And for training, I got training treats. This dog, this dog has no manners whatsoever. And so I bought a harness until I can get him properly leash trained. Uh, just for this weekend, I've got uh, a no pull harness, I guess is what you call it. Now I walked my Greyhound in one of these, something similar. And, uh, but he didn't pull anyway, he was a good dog. And I'm gonna see if he likes cucumbers because cucumbers are good for their breath. And so if your dog's got stinky breath and you can get him to eat a cucumber, that's the trick. Um, I couldn't find the leash that I wanted. This, this one is the, is what I chose. It's, uh, I don't know how long it is, but it doesn't matter. I like a good sturdy leash, but this is kind of flimsy. It's almost, almost for like for a cat or something. So I'll be back uh, when I'm ready to put all this together. Okay, I had to change shirts. It was just too daggum hot. And I got to get my kitchen cleaned up. This is ridiculous. Oh, if you're wondering what that is, uh, my sister told me what it was, but I gotta wash my face in like tea gel to get rid of it. It's not psoriasis, it's like scleroderma. I don't know what she said. For November, it is hot, and I absolutely despise hot weather. I hate it. I gotta find something to put my hair up with. I'll be right back. Okay, before I proceed further, I am going to clean my kitchen.
Now, a friend of mine named Tammy Nichols has her own YouTube channel. If you don't know already, her name, her channel name is Collar Valley Cooks. And she recommends on how to make the best uh, boiled eggs. And I also did a video on that, and I'll link that down below. But I really do think you should go check out her channel, and I'll put her link in the description box. But uh, what you do is, is you wait for the water to come back to a rolling boil, and then you put it, uh, your timer on for 12 minutes, and you'll have a perfectly cooked egg every time. Sorry about the lighting, I don't know what's going on today, but also what I do as soon as my eggs are finished and the timer's gone off, and I put it in the sink, and I take all the ice out of my ice maker in my refrigerator, and I pour it on top of the eggs. Well, I put cold water on it, and then I pour the ice, and that would break the eggs. Okay, now that the eggs are on ice, I'm going to go ahead and start uh, blending all the uh, vegetables together. The anti-pull leash does not work, so um, I'm just going to have to work with him a little bit you know, about the pulling, and um, you know, for the days that I have him, I'm, uh, his owner is going to come back and pick him up on the 10th. So this is just a trial run on whether or not uh, he really wants to let him go, and, if, and also to see if we two do get along. So. Now the chicken is cooled off and I'm going to take it and let me put this somewhere. I'm going to feed this to the cats and so I don't want any there, there to be any waste so all this is going to go out there. I take the meat and what I do is, is I just put it in small chunks just like that. Just tear it into small chunks. Now, if you're wondering why I'm going through all this effort for a dog I may or may not keep, I did this for Captain Happy Pants when I first got him. He, he was out of shape. He was stressed. Uh, uh, he had schnauzer bumps really bad. And that's, uh, all schnauzer bumps are, I think it's just blackheads. It's a trait. Uh, it's a breed thing so uh, I just decided just to make my own dog food to try to get him healthy and also I think because it tastes so good that kind of warms them up to you you're you know so and plus I know what's in it you know there's not going to be any secret hidden ingredient you know the people or chemical or dye or anything so pretty much this is about as healthy dog food as you can get. Now, my now Captain Happy Pants, he likes cucumbers and uh, things like that. I don't feed him people food, and because people food is for people, and I see a lot of obese dogs milling around, and I just think how sad that is that somebody would let their animal fall to that kind of, you know, health because then their hips start bothering them and it's just, it's just terrible. So, it's just all around better idea. So let me get the rest of this chicken off and I will be right. And another thing, once I started feeding this diet to Captain Happy Pants, his health got so much better. I mean, he really started just feeling better and behaving better because when I first got him he wasn't socialized I had to muzzle him put him in a cart and go to Home Depot or Lowe's 
and ride him around and show him that the world is not out to get him. And so when you're pulling your chicken off, rub it between your fingers. I'm making it in small bites because he has such limited, you know, toothism, if you will. And uh, that also ensures that there's no bones. And chicken's good for him. Fish is good too. If your schnauzer gets schnauzer bumps, the best way to treat them is give them salmon with their food. Sardines have too much cholesterol in it, and are too much, it has a lot more calories as well. And bathe them every other week with baby shampoo, like Johnson & Johnson or something, tearless, and then let them give them a bath in tea gel, Neutrogena tea gel, or uh, another brand if you want, and let them soak for about five or ten minutes, and that tea gel will clear up all those schnauzer bumps. Since I've been doing that, Captain Pap Blah. Captain Happy Pants hasn't had any issues with schnauzer bumps. Done. I didn't know what it was when I first got him. He was in such bad shape. Stressed out, pimple, uh, schnauzer bumped out, his coat was all wiry and unkept, and he, you know, he was just, he was just not healthy. And, uh, and boy, has he changed. So I just thought I'd throw that little tidbit in for you. Okay, so here is me mixing it all together. And I think I'm going to do a three-day serving container. Uh, make a container. Each container has a serving for three days and keep the rest of them frozen and then have one thawing out on the second day. I know it doesn't look very appetizing but it's good. So, No grains, no dyes, no artificial flavors, 100% natural and healthy. So let me go get his bowl and put it down and we'll see if he likes it. Now this is the bowl that came with him so I will be washing it. I will be sterilizing his stuff. And now this does has a lot of vegetables in it so it's going to have a lot of fiber. I don't know what it's going to do to his uh, bowel movements. He is a small dog. I got to feed him less than I would Captain Happy Pants. But we'll just try that, so we'll see. Come on, Cooper. Come on, baby. Come eat. Well, I think that's a yes. I probably gave him too much, but... I think that that's a yes. I think the meat chunks are too big for him. But he just cannot eat hard food, so anytime you change the dog's diet, they get upset tummy, so generally sometimes. So I think he's gonna be happy. Let's let him finish up and then uh, we'll see what the end result is. Dog approved. Cooper approved. He's still so scared and nervous. Yes, my floors are dirty. It's reality. Well, I'm glad that that was a success. So, as you can tell, he liked that a lot. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these containers, these, you know, aluminum foil type containers with lids. Um, this is the brand. And look where it's made. So, they're reusable, and the only thing I don't like is how flimsy they are, but for what I'm doing, all right, I'm not catering for Martha Stewart, so let's get these in, and I'm going to put them in the freezer in the apartment. So, 
let's get this done. All right, so here we go. This one I've used before it has been washed. I'll wash the other ones and then use them. So I don't know, I'm probably gonna need a bigger spoon to expedite this a little bit faster. I think what I'll do is, is um, That should be enough because uh, I don't know. Let me see. Maybe I should just fill it to the top. I think I gave them a little too much on this first go round, but I think that'll be enough for three days. down and unknown how many others to get. So I'll be back when this is all done. Okay, that's three weeks worth of dog food. Probably a little bit more. We'll see. And he's letting me know he has to go to the bathroom and so let me take him out and I'll wrap this up. Be right back. One other thing I need to mention is that when they're on this diet with all that vegetable in it and the water that I added that were, you know, with the vitamins, vitamin water, whatever that's inside the can, uh, they're going to urinate more. And like I said, also that anytime you change a dog's diet, sometimes it, they, their stomachs can get messed up. So just give them a little bit of time and let's go over the numbers real quick. Um, the eggs, the 12 eggs, the 12 count eggs was $1.65. The, the beans that I bought were about the same as the price of the uh, stuff that I actually ended up using because the lima beans had spices in them. It was about 98 cents. Um, the, the shredded carrots, that was two of them, that was $1.88. And then the whole chicken was $4.59. So I'm not in exactly sure how much food that is but I would roughly say about a month's worth of dog food for ten dollars and ninety eight cents so that's something else to take into consideration and it really just didn't take me that long and I just think it's just better so I think you should give it a try